Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, let us take a look into how to debug the code with ChatGPT. ChatGPT can help you quickly find and fix the issues in your code. In this lecture, let us see how we can debug the code with ChatGPT with lots of examples. Well, the question is why debugging is important. Debugging is an important part of coding. It's how you find and fix the problems in your programs. Without it, your code might behave in the ways you don't expect. So here are the key challenges in debugging. Confusing errors. Some problems are hard to figure out just by looking at error message. Time consuming. Debugging can take hours if you don't know where to start. Edge cases. Bugs often appear in situations where we don't think about while writing the code. So ChatGPT can help with all these challenges by acting like a coding assistant. So let us go ahead and let us see how we can use ChatGPT to debug the code. Let us start with a common problem, a null pointer exception. Well, assume that this is the piece of code. It has a null pointer exception. And let us ask ChatGPT to debug this code, find the error and fix that error. So if you don't use ChatGPT, then what you need to do is you need to manually debug this code. Like in ID, you need to add the breakpoints and you need to start the application in a debug mode and then you need to you know debug the code line by line so this takes a lot of time right so instead of doing that what you can do is you can just ask chat gpt to debug this code quickly and find the error and also provide the fix for this error for example just copy this piece of code go to chat gpt and here let us ask chat gpt to debug and fix the error so here let us say why why is this code throwing a null pointer exception and how can I fix it and then just paste the code over here okay so let us see how chat GPT will provide the response so notice the chat GPT response over here the code is throwing null pointer exception because you are directly calling get email on user object without checking if the user is null. Additionally, if a get email itself returns null, calling to lower case on it will also throw null pointer exception. So by looking into this chat GPT response, you can easily understand why you are getting null pointer exception in this code. Okay. And if you can notice here, chat GPT also added the fix for this code. It says like to fix this issue. You can add a null checks for both user and the result of user.getemail method. So this is how ChatGPT will help you to debug the code and also it provides a fix for the code. Okay. And also it provides the explanation for the fixes and it will also provide the alternative approach for the fix as well. Okay. So you will get a lot of information about the issue and the fix for the issue in the ChatGPT response and by Looking into chat GP response, you can easily understand what is the error and what is the fix for the error. Well, let us take a look into one more example. Like, let us say we have a requirement to write the logic to calculate the discount. And by mistake, we write the wrong logic for this requirement. And this logic basically producing the incorrect results. Next, what we can do is we can ask chat GPT like why this particular logic or method giving the incorrect results and how can I fix it? For instance, just copy this code and go to ChatGPT again and here just ask ChatGPT like why is this method returning incorrect results and how do I fix it? Okay, so while writing logic, let us say we made some mistake and we are, we are not able to figure out the issue. Then we can ask ChatGPT like this. Why is this method returning incorrect results and how do I fix it? And then paste the method over here and just submit the prompt. And let us see how ChatGPT debug this code and provide the solution. And notice here the response of the ChatGPT. The method is returning incorrect results because the formula for calculating the discount is wrong. 
and this is the line where we made the mistake and you can see chat gpt also provides the correct formula for discount calculation and again chat gpt provides the fix for the code so this is the corrected code that we can use in our project and this is the explanation for the fix so this is how chat gpt will help us to find the you know logical errors as well so chat gpt will quickly debug and find the bug and it also provides the fix for that bug okay so in real time project you can go ahead and use chat gpt to figure out what is the issue and how you can fix that issue using chat gpt next let us take a look into one more example so consider we have this piece of java code over here it throws the concurrent modification exception and we are not able to figure out where exactly the issue is then what we can do is we can quickly ask chat gpt to find the you know error and provide the fix for that error as well so let us copy this and let us ask chat gpt why this code throwing concurrent modification exception and how can i fix it so let us go to chat gpt over here and just tell chat gpt why is this code throwing concurrent modification exception and how we can fix it so just you know send the prompt and just wait for the chat gpt response so look at here the chat gpt response the code is throwing concurrent modification exception because you are trying to modify the names list while iterating over it using enhanced for loop if you can look at the code over here you can see you are trying to remove the element in a list while looping through the list that's why you are getting concurrent modification exception so that is what chat gpt is telling over here and chat gpt also tells you why does this happen how to fix it and this is the solution safe removal using iterator so chat gpt is suggesting use iterator instead of enhanced for loop okay so in real time project we typically get the concurrent modification exception if we are trying to remove the element in a for loop so to avoid this concurrent modification exception we use a iterator okay that is what the chat gpt is telling over here and chat gpt also suggest multiple solutions so based on your requirement you can go ahead and use it so this is how you can ask chat gpt to quickly debug the code find the bug and provide the solution for that bug next let us take a look into one more example so let us say we are developing a library management project using java spring boot and let us say while writing code we miss some annotations for instance let us say while writing book service we may miss the annotations okay and we will encounter the issues then what we can do is we can ask chat gpt like what is the issue in this particular code and how how do i fix it and then paste the code so chat gpt will debug the code it will find the issue and it will provide the solution next let us say if you are new to the spring boot and if you have requirement to write the rest apis for book resource and there may chance that you may miss the annotations or you may misplace the annotations then what you can do is you can ask chat gpt like what is the mistake in this code can you debug it and can you find the issue okay and then paste the code so chat gpt will debug the code it will find the error and it will provide the fix for that error okay so if you are new to any programming language and if you are you know writing the code and if you encounter some issues then you can take the help from chat gpt to debug the issue and you know get the fix from the chat gpt so this is how chat gpt will help you to quickly debug the code and provide the solution so if you try to manually debug the code then it will take a lot of time right so instead of doing that you can quickly ask chat gpt to debug the code and provide the solution in this way you can save your time and boost the productivity all right great i will see you in the next lecture